The intercare trap targets mosquitoes that are ready to lay their eggs. The odor lure attracts Aedes mosquitoes, which can transmit dengue and chikungunya virus. Attracted by smelly water, the mosquito enters the trap and searches a spot to settle, near the water surface. The gauze on the floater is an ideal location for the insect to land. She uses the gauze to rest while laying her eggs in the water. Unknowingly, she contaminates the water with particles from the gauze. These particles were transferred to her skin when making contact with her legs and body. The gauze has a special coating that uses polarity to bind mosquito-killing powders. The positive charge of the insect makes the particles transfer to her skin. Her body is contaminated with two different actives. One that slowly kills the mosquito and one that kills her larvae. After a few days, the eggs in the trap hatch and become larvae. These larvae produce a smell that increases the attractiveness of the trap. This smell will attract more mosquitoes to lay eggs in the trap, thereby enhancing its effectiveness. The larvicide in the water kills the larvae just before they are ready to pupate. The dead pupae sink to the bottom and are eaten by younger larvae. If the trap contains many mosquito larvae, then this shows that it is working well. Fortunately, none of these larvae will ever become adult biting mosquitoes, so no new mosquitoes will emerge from the trap. After laying a batch of eggs, the now contaminated mosquito flies out of the trap. She goes and searches for another location to lay more eggs. Rainwater in an old car tire provides a nice spot to breed. When she contacts the water, the larvicide on her legs dissolves and contaminates the breeding site. This cycle is repeated when the mosquito continues to search other places to lay her eggs. At every stop, she contaminates the water with larvicide. Even the very small amounts that are transferred can effectively kill all larvae. In this way, she kills her own offspring, as well as offspring from other mosquitoes that use the same breeding site. With this technique, we control mosquito breeding in and around the trap, even in sites that may be small and hard to find by control personnel. One trap effectively covers an area of 400 square meters. The larvicide is not the only bioactive in the trap. The second killing agent is a fungus. Its spores attach to the mosquito skin upon contact with the gauze. Once attached, the fungus spores slowly start to germinate. They use germination tubes to penetrate the skin. Once inside the mosquito, the fungus produces blastospores that excrete toxins. This infection makes the mosquito less active and reduces its willingness to bite humans. It also inhibits the development of dengue virus in the mosquito gut. An infected mosquito can therefore still spread larvicide around the trap, but cannot transmit disease. After a few days, the mosquito succumbs to the fungus infection and dies.